If you tryna party and celebrate life Tune in the next sound studio tonight It's live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level With different artists who take it to a new level uh, And you never know what you gon' get you might get rock or you might get rap You might get R&B with the boom bap You might get a band or you might wanna dance bachata I just know every week's gonna be a shaka And it's a party for the world For little boys, little girls For everybody If you came to party If you came to party If you came to party If you came to get down Get down tonight From the next sound studio, studio. Tryna party and celebrate life Tune in the next sound studio tonight It's live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level Hello everyone, I'm David Sosa Hopefully you remember me from our last episode It's my pleasure to be back here to host tonight's episode As always, we have three uniquely talented individuals Here to showcase their vocals live from Next Sound Studio We have a night full of talent, so I don't wanna keep you waiting Let's welcome the first of our artists to the stage, Sadir. She's not only his name, but an acronym that he lives by. Speak your dreams into reality. This multifaceted artist found his love for performing in his teen years during a high school talent show, which ultimately led him to honing his craft over the years. Fast forwarding to recent years, he's had the opportunity to work with the likes of Faith Evans, Lil Jon, and Yummy Bingham, to name a few. Let's take it to our director to find out more about Sadir, his musical journey, and the lyrics to tonight's first performance, All I Really Want. Here I am, Will B. Walker, your director, sitting here with Sadir. Let's jump right into it and let's get into Sadir. Whoa. Tell us about the acronym and what that means. Sadir. Sadir is an acronym for Speak Your Dreams Into Reality. Um, I'm a big believer in faith and putting things out into the universe and such, so Along with that just comes this thing of, you know, manifesting what you want in your life by speaking it into existence. I'm going to be this artist. I'm going to be, you know, whatever, whatever you want to be, speak it into reality. So there you go. Oh, that's cool. And I know you uh, are a wonderful artist, but I wanted to know about growing up in your childhood. I know you don't come from a musical background. Right. So I know a lot of artists, they mostly come from musical backgrounds. So mm -hmm. how was it? How was finding music? For you, what was that like? For me, you know what it was? <laughs> well, like a lot of other artists, church, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in like a, a Baptist church environment, so there was a lot of hand clapping, foot stomping, loud singing, and bands playing, and instrumentation and stuff like that. And then my grandmother, she was one of those that you couldn't be in her house and do anything if you weren't going to church. So if you could if you had the strength to get up and go to school, you went to church on Sunday. If you partied on Saturday, you went to church on we Sunday. Know, you know if you were that. sick, <laughs> if you were sick, Granny, I'm sick. Well, the church is where you need to be to get healed. So come on. So every time the church doors was open, we was there. So, you know, along with that, the music. And the music is kind of infectious. Well, not kind of. For me, it was. And that's kind of what did it for me. That and then seeing other artists on TV and such, you know, coming up and... That, that's when the bug bit me. And you talked yeah. about stage managing a little bit mm -hmm. with Faith. I mm -hmm. uh, just want to talk about some of your other hats outside of performing. Mm -hmm. Man, photography, videography, of course, stage management, um, voiceover work. So I, I do some of everything, man. So and, and it's the thing of, in this industry, you have to be... Well, for me, I, I had to become multifaceted because, you know, sitting around depending on people to do certain things for you is just not the move. You know what I mean? So in that, you know, I had to become a photographer. I had to jump into stage. Man and, you know, the stage management thing kind of happened by accident. I wound up on a whim stage managing. I believe it was a day 26 show. And from there, I kind of developed a reputation. 
and mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah, it just kind of took off from there. Well, now let's talk about you and your music. Mm -hmm. And we talked about Mary mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about how big of an influence she was. Yeah. You performed live at Next Sound Studio, but mm -hmm. you performed All I Really Want. Yeah. Which is a take off of Mary. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the lyrics to that and the storyline behind it. All I Really Want. Um, like you said, it's, it's basically a remake of her song, Be Happy. Um, and be right. what it is for me um, on yeah. a personal level, I was just, um, I wrote that song, I was at a hella dark place when I wrote that song. It was a lot going on in my life, and I was just like, all I really want, you know, like her, like her original song says, all I really want is to be happy, but I wanted to do my own spin on it, you know what I mean? What <laughs> so, I noticed in the song is, the beginning of the song is like a uh, problem or struggle, mm -hmm. and then as... As you go into the second verse, you kind of kind of, it's problem it's like conflict resolution. Right. So that's one thing that I uh, notice about the song, and something that I notice about a lot of your songs. It's mm -hmm. not just necessarily a problem. Right. You kind of offer a solution. Right. So the next thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was your writing process. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with things, and how does the flow go? It really depends. Um, sometimes I hear a track, um, and the track will just kind of speak to me like this is what you need to talk about here you know what I mean other times I'll already have a song written and a track will come along later you know what I mean like a lot of people don't know I have this song called take me all the way that track the the, the song that I wrote is only maybe a year old if that but the track the music sheesh 10 years old <laughs> so it, it just happens like that it's almost like an outfit you know what I mean you can have a shirt chilling in the closet that you haven't worn in forever because you can't find the right sneakers or a ball cap to wear with it and one day out of the blue boom you you catch it and it works and yeah and you've had that shirt forever but nobody is none the wiser you know what I mean so that's just that's just how it happens and it came together or like so organically you know what I mean but um but yeah, that's how it typically happens with me. I, I either already have a track or I already have the, the lyrics written and then it comes together like that, so. Well, that's good. We uh, are excited to see you perform. Word. Here he is performing live, Next Sound Studio, All I Really Want, Sadir. Check him out. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Y'all right? Let's be happy, y'all. Uh. How can I find peace when I'm hurting so deep that I can't even sleep? Somebody help me. How can I support you when I need someone to support me? Let me see. You can give a mad thing, but when your tanks on E, what you need for them to be is where they ain't gonna be. I'm sick of feeling like I'm just not winning. Will spinning back from the beginning to get the same old ending. I don't wanna live wishing for the end of life. Depressed and in the dark, fighting to get in the light. They took away my game, my everything. It really sucks. You can love it, but they give a uh. Hey. Hey. It's all I really want. Uh, uh. It's all I really need. Yeah. It's all I really want. Uh. It's all I wanna be. Hey. It's all I really want. It's all I really need. Y'all know this joint out there, y'all. Come on, eh, Lord, give me a sign and fix this broken heart of mine because it's in the bond, so is my mind. Still waiting for joy. They told me it was coming in the morning, but I need that to free my mind. I'm out here trying to get it, giving everything that I have, and they snatch it away when I go for the grab. Not to mention it don't matter how good I try to be, they only see what they gonna see. I'm holding on, praying for better days. I'm holding on for my son, I'm a raise. I'm calling out to God, please make a way. I'm holding on, taking back whatever they took away from me. I'm holding on to get peace in my soul. I'm holding on to achieve my goal. I'm holding on, but if you want to grow, you got to know when it's time to let it go. So let it go and keep praying for better days. Keep praying for better days. Keep praying for better days. God knows we need better days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when life gets hard, you gotta come back even harder For anything in this life, you gotta fight You gotta fight, you gotta fight Back, you gotta fight Life is too short to not be living Looking back on hard times and think God, he did Carry me in this because of him that's still 
living. You ain't gotta believe me, but I know that you're listening. I wanna be, eh, uh, I wanna be, I need to be, I'm gonna be, I gotta be, I wanna be, I need to be, I'm gonna be, eh, eh. Next sound. How many of y'all out there wanna be happy, y'all? We gotta be. Ooh, great job, Sadir. If you enjoyed that performance, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Of course, you know we'll hear from him later. But first, let's welcome our next artist to the stage. Brooklyn-born Nequasia from Humble Beginnings expressed her love for singing and songwriting. After landing the lead role in her first school play, she was soon thereafter writing her own music. Wanting to grow musically, she was able to attain both her Bachelor's of the Arts and Master's in Music, focusing on vocal performance. She has since released several singles, resulting in several nominations and wins from Indie Music's Voiceless Music Awards. We're excited to have her here to perform songs from her newly released debut EP, Shattered. But first, let's take it to Will and find out a little bit more about Nequasia and her musical platform. Sitting with Nequasia, just here to get a little personal, find out a little bit about you, find out a little bit about your music and the, song, so the songs that you chose to perform live in Next Sound Studio. Well, I was raised in South Carolina, so um, that was when I started to get my music started because I was trying to fit in, you know, you, you're trying to fit in, it's a new place, you don't have anybody to be friends with yet, so you're just finding yourself. Um, so I auditioned for Oliver, and I got the main part. So, and um, funny story about that, I had a teacher, she wasn't even my teacher, and I think it was like kind of like a racist thing, but she was just like, I don't think you're going to be able to do the show like you know you have a lot of work and you know so I, I was like really this lady just said that to me so I told my mom me and my mom rehearsed forever like night and day as soon as I got home we rehearsed and you know I did a she came up to me after the show was over and she was just like you did a great job and I was like oh thank you you know so um did Oliver and then from then on I started to write even in spite of coming up with, you wanted to do music at a young age, I know you were involved in a ton of other activities. You were somebody that just liked to oh my try, gosh, try I, everything. Yes. And just, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about you being courageous and just stepping out there and doing a lot growing up and so, some of the things you did. Yes, I, I did, I tried to do everything. Sixth grade, I um, I entered a talent show and I was like I could I could sing and it was like okay whatever and then I was singing I did the cheerleading I did the step I did um, I did the choir we did it was everything so they was like wow you really can sing like so now this is when I was like okay I'm gonna take it serious um, but I dib dabbed in every single thing like I tr like why not try you know. Well, that's very, and you can tell. You see your music videos. I see you dancing. Yeah. I see all. I see all the old moves <laughs> coming back. So that's good. You, you're a triple threat. Mm -hmm. uh, you do theater, dance, sing. Yes. So that's good for you. Uh, aside from that, you took your music seriously and decided to devote that into your education. Yes. So I want to talk a little bit about your college and your degrees that you have in music, and how that's helped your music career now. Okay, um, well, let's get this straight. Like I said, my mom is my biggest supporter. I did not want to go to college. I wanted to, like, straight after high school, I was like, I'm going into the music industry, period. Don't bother me. Like, this is what I want to do. And my mom was like, no, you're going to go to school so you can have something to fall back on. And I'm, I'm very proud of actually going. I, I thank my mom all the time. Like, I want to say thank you for, you know, letting me go because... It taught me not only how to open up my voice, but how to control my voice. That was awesome. Well, that's good. I'm glad she prepared, propelled you to go to school. Mm -hmm. You put some uh, education under your belt. Then you start to work on your music. Mm -hmm. You start to put that pen down. Yep. Tell us some about, uh, talk, let's talk a little bit about your, some of the singles okay. that you first came out with before you came out with your debut EP. And then we're going to talk about your debut EP. Of course. So my first single that I came out with um, was Sexy You. 
and that's also that's on iTunes right now. And then I did Hella Bent. Somebody came up to me and they was like, we want a Ratchet song. So I'm like, I always want something Ratchet. Like, that's not who I am. But you know what? Let me try, you know? So I put my pen skills to the test and I call all my Ratchet friends. I was like, girl, what you like to do when you go to the club? <laughs> <laughs> and they was like, well, you know, Tom Quaver, she passed out when she goes to the club. I was like, really? She did that? Then Stalisha, she probably go go home with another man. I was like, really? Y'all be doing all that? For real? And she just, like, all my friends, they gave me, like, different stuff that they do when they drunk, when they go to the club, when they go to the bar. They just, So I was like, okay. So Hella Bent was my, my hoorah song, like, you know, my ratchet song. Let me get a little uh, uh, uh. And then I had my sexy you. Even though I'm hella bent, I want to be treated this way, you know. So those are my two singles that I, you know, came out with. People still love it to this day. Um, they want to make remixes and stuff to it. Uh, let's talk about the Voiceless Music Awards. After you wrote those singles, you put them out. Mm -hmm. They were real received and you came home with some awards. So let's talk about the nominations and the awards and what that meant for you at that time during your career. Okay, um, so I was a part of the Voiceless Music Awards. Um, thank you to my fans, everyone who voted, because um, it was like a voted, a People's Choice Awards. So um, I was nominated for five awards. I won four awards, and it was amazing. Like I, I didn't know I was gonna win all those awards. I was like, you know what? Just go in here, have fun. You know, look cute. Bam, bam, boom, and. I was, you know, actually happy to, you know, because it was it was like a, you could see the race of who was who had the most points and stuff like that. And um, I didn't know if I was going to win or not. So I was like, well, I'm just happy to be even nominated. You know, you always I'm very humble to always be just recognized for my music and, and what I'm out there to portray. So, yeah, uh, let's talk about this real <laughs> fast. This young lady is wearing literally wearing her album on yes. her shirt so let's talk about this all you have to do so shout out rock view entertainment he um he actually i saw it on his interview right and i was like oh i want that like i just want to go around and you know have people just scan my album so he made this shirt for me he designed it and everything and um you can go on my website www.nequasiasings.com shop and you can get these are uh, these are the limited ones so these are going to be limited for special you know reasons and everything and they're going to be black though because i like black black is really really nice so all you have to do when people be like oh well, i can't get your album honey it's right here honey all you got to do is take your phone you know go to the camera and you scan it Talking about Shattered, let's talk about a few songs that you chose to perform live here at Next Sound Studio. Uh, so let's start with that. Bad Bees. Yes. Bad I Bees. Yes. Bad Bees. <laughs> so Bad Bitches is um, a track to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm through. And I'm going to love who I am. So um, I don't even know how I came up with Bad Bitches. I just was like in a trance. Like... This is this is the angle that I'm going in. Like you're shattered, but you're not broken. Like you're not gonna stay down forever. That person shattered you, but we're gonna keep it pushing. So go on with your bad bitches, and I'm gonna love me. So bad bitches came out, and I feel like the guys love it more than the girls. So bad bitches is like that anthem. Like do you, girl? Like we we're gonna get out, and we're gonna do what we love to do. Party with our girlfriends, <laughs> period. <laughs> well, here she is having fun, tearing it down on the stage live next sound studio. Here's Nequasia with Bad Bitches. <laughs> Putting you for me 
Very good, Nequasia. I can't wait to hear more from her later. As always, if you enjoyed this performance, hit the subscribe button below. And finally, it's my pleasure to introduce tonight's third and final performer, Shaq Hester. This singer-actor creator was born in Patterson, New Jersey and later relocated to Sumter, South Carolina. Exposure to refined musicians at a young age would begin his relationship with music that would later be cultivated to a love of all theater arts. Continuing to hone his craft on the collegiate level, he attained his BA from the University of South Carolina and later his master's from Indiana University's Jacob School of Music. Since moving back to New York, Shaq has performed as a featured vocalist off-Broadway and provided background vocals for Grammy-nominated and Tony Award-winning artists. Currently working on his debut EP, Soft, we are eager to see what he would bring to us here live at Next Sound Studio. Here he is with our director to tell us a little bit more about him and how he found his love for music. Here I am, Will B. Walker, sitting with Shaq Hester. She's going to dive right in and find out a little bit about you, who you were growing up, how you uh, became this individual artist that you are, and where we're going to take it in the future. I grew up in Patterson, New Jersey. I... My mother was the only person that really sang, and her first song that she taught me was, um, Is my living in vain? And I didn't know any part except, No, 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 of course not, because up the road. So, like, but she was always singing. My grandfather told me she was like a, a quintet singer, just like the Clark sisters. She was still doing that in the city. So I kind of just wanted to be just like her in every way. At some point, you move from 
up north to down south. Mm -hmm. What was that transition like for you? It was a little if tough. It was a little tough. Um, it was the the reason why I moved down south is because my mother passed away. My grandfather, my father, had already passed away when I was seven years old. So when my mother passed when I was nine, my grandparents were already retired. They were already planning to go down south, and. And my mother had wrote in the will that if anything happened to her, I would go with them. So I went with them down south and it was tough because culture shock and things move slower down there. They talk different. They gonna pick on me for talking different. But once I moved there, it's funny. Um, when I, before I moved to the south, I was toggling back and forth between Philly because though my mother passed when I was nine, she was constantly getting sick. So she, we originally moved to Philly when I was around six or seven. And whenever she got sick, my grandparents who lived in New Jersey, I would go back to them and I would toggle between that. So moving down south, it was like, it's more change. It's more things to get used to. I have an inquisitive mind when it comes to stories. I used to be the type of child who would like, when we were in band, I would hear the music and I would imagine a movie. So it's like, bum, bum, bum. I'm like, oh, so that's when the baby comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I always had like an image connected to things or if it goes, da, 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 I'll think of something tragic happening in that moment. So my connection to music has always had drama and a story involved. So. So you uh, continue on with your music education, and I know mm -hmm. you took your took that on to get your master's degree, mm -hmm. and within that time, eventually became found your own voice. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what the process was like within finding your own voice. So it was a curious thing when I hyperventilated my, in my undergrad, and I was like, "It's my junior year. I need to know what happens after this." So I was like. Let me look up grad schools now. So for a year and a half, I spent time looking up grad schools. And in doing that, I knew what I wanted by deciding what I wanted from a grad school because I already accidentally happened upon my undergrad experience in music. But there were things missing and certain things that I was disadvantaged with that that school just couldn't, they didn't have it. It wasn't meant for that school program. And I said, this school has to have a strong musical theater program, um, black staff, as faculty as well, um, is there a school that tr has more intensity and more attention to the gospel arts and black music overall? And is there a school that has a top opera program? I was like, things I'm not gonna give up. Top opera and top musical theater. And that narrowed it down to Indiana. And it was interesting that because I walked into that school saying, I'm coming out of here with this, whether y'all like it or not, that it shaped everything. There's certain things about certain schools where they, they'll make a curriculum for you. Yeah, it's good that you get what they tell you to get, but if you know what you want, you can use that schooling as a tool so it doesn't make a, a tool out of you. So Say it one more time for the people in the back. I'm not, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even... Just rewind and listen to it again. Hey, child. Because um, I, I say it good no, it, once and that's all you're going to get. But it makes a lot of sense. It made a lot of sense But once I did that, you. Yes, um, once I got into the school, by the grace of God, you know, everything happens for a reason. I found some incredible mentors and incredible colleagues that I still hold on to today. Best friend from there. Bless God. Love you. Um, but when I went there with that idea, um, when I met my voice teacher, so grateful, so grateful. His birthday just passed this Friday. Um, yeah, Music enriched me, he enriched me. Like, my teacher was the type of person who listens to Prince music just as much as he listens to musical theater, as much as he li listens to opera. And that was literally what I was looking for. I was like, who can mentor me and actually knows the world of music, not just the school of music, you know what I mean? Um, and between him, between my black colleagues, because I never had, like back at my undergrad, the amount of black colleagues, I could count them on one hand. When I went to grad school, thankfully, we were like at least 20s or 30s of black colleagues that I could talk to about music that would understand it the way I would. And I felt less alone in my degree. And with that experience, with my teacher, and with slowly just learning how I wanted to show up in the world, I started to learn. I was like, Shaq, you spent so long running away from the fact you're an old soul. 
running so far away from the fact that you go all sing neo soul. Yeah, you sing this opera. You can still do that. Yeah, you sing um, church music. But there's a land in between there that you still belong to. So I would say my musicianship went leaps and bounds just by necessity um, and by passion. The passion is very evident. We're going to jump into you performing live at Next Sound Studio. You come up with some pretty... Hmm, You're excited. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm trying to find the most appropriate word to describe the ice cream. <laughs> Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Let's talk about the lyrics and you performing that song and what so, that song actually It feels means. like a betrayal because me and my friend, now everybody knows the code, <laughs> but um, me and my friend, she, was, she would say, um, um, if, oof, y'all can't know all the business, but she'll say, <laughs> Um, have you visited Goodwill today? And Goodwill meant like, did you take your birth control today? That was between her and mo her mother. And that's just how they did it. So me and my friend, after a couple of times, because we would talk in, anywhere, we'd be like, you know, in the practice room, walking down the street, hanging out in the car around her little brother, and we would have to be like, so, are you going to buy some ice cream later? And that's kind of how the whole idea of Neapolitan began because it was our code word when we wanted to talk about different flavors of different things that have, make us respond and satisfy us in particular ways. Um, and I just was, I told her, I was like, one day I'm going to write a song about it. And then that one day came. It definitely has that old school, like a rich sultry tone to it Thank you, you perform your behind off in it it's like literally my like, god <laughs> you get everybody ready to have that that bowl of neapolitan ice cream so here he is were you ready <laughs> i was kind of ready <laughs> <laughs> go ahead go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> here he is performing neapolitan live from next sound studio be sure to be liking sharing and subscribing y'all feel that yeah with the groove thing y'all know how to Old school style, yeah. Now, now me and my best friend Shay, we like to call that good love making, that good rubbing at night. We call that Neapolitan. You sometimes have to use a code word. But anyway, yeah, but anyway, would y'all join us for this little, this little nighttime song? Come on, join us. Hey, come on, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.
What a performance, Shaq. You know you already subscribed, but if not, here's your reminder. Hit the subscribe button below, and we will definitely hear more from Shaq Hester later. Up next, let's take it back to Will and Sadir to find out more about the music and lyrics to his upcoming single, Girlfriend. Another track you performed live for Next Sound Studio, Girlfriend. Let's talk about right. Girlfriend and right. the lyrics and the meaning behind that. So I had a situation occur where basically a good friend of mine, for whatever reason, I don't know what their situation is. I think the boyfriend thought that me and the, the, my friend were, you know, having a thing going on or whatever. So he DMs me. He's like, yo, she ain't this, she ain't that, she the other, da, da, da. I mean, just going in. And I'm like, bruh, it ain't that type of party with her. You know what I mean? Me and her, we're, we're cool. That's like sis. You know what I mean? And dude is coming at me like, you know, like me and him are buddy, buddy. Like we're friends. Like I said in the song, you know, girl, get your man. He coming at me like we friends talking about you, you know? And so it just... It didn't really escalate from there, but it was enough for me to be like, you know what, that would make a bomb song. And again, like I said in the last segment, I had this track already. I, the track, I think I had that track for maybe two, three years. But the song, I wrote it like that. Because, you know, when, when things really happen to me, I can't, I can't write a, what I call a BS song, talking about hanging on the block and smoking weed all day and drinking and, you know, sex. I, I can't do that. Because... That's not me to my core. That's, I'm not that person. But when stuff really happens to me, psh, sit down That's, and pin I, it I out. I noticed that about you. When life <laughs> gives you lemons, you so, make a song. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And so that's the whole thing with Girlfriend. And I really wanted to, um, I want it to speak to, you know, women out there who are dealing with situations where they have these jealous dudes in their life, these toxic dudes in their life. And it's like, you know, like I said at the end of the song, you know, you need to be respected and you need to be protected. This is something that can really hit the fan. You know, I've, I've seen it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's something that hits close to home for Absolutely. many, many people. Absolutely. Uh, Here he is performing <laughs> Girlfriend live, Next Sound Studio. Girlfriend. See, why are you so worried about me and mine? Oh, Next sound, what's up, y'all? This joint right here is called Girlfriend, and this is for everybody that's dealing with somebody on that jealousy craziness. You know what I mean? You gotta check that, cause that could turn real dangerous real fast. Uh, girl, better get your man Dude coming at me like we friends Talk about you, been talking about me Like I'm a believer, keeping it a beam Plus the word on the curb is that cat might just slip and swerve Why he's so damn jealous, no reason, can't even tell us So why you all in my inbox, cause she been liking my TikToks Nothing going on with us, kick rocks, stepping on my toes, nigga flip flops See this that type of shit that'll get you killed, fuck around with the wrong one Might wanna back up slowly, you don't even know me, go ahead on son Hey, girlfriend uh, hey. Understand I'm not to be toy with girlfriend. Check your man if that's your boyfriend, girlfriend. Eh, eh. Uh, he coming at you reckless and respectless How we make the cut on your checklist Cause I damn sure didn't expect this That shit he pulled makes me think he is an insecure little bee Sideways even coming at me Probably want this vitamin D Girl better see them signs You have been through this how many times Don't be blind and pay it no mind Might not go so good next time I'm just saying some of these cats be claiming This is not serious I'm just playing Yeah then you wanna go in that crazy Listen up up here lady you need to be respected you need to be protected because this that type of shit that'll hit the fan if you don't check it you need to be respected you need to be protected because this that type of shit that'll just keep going on if you let it yeah uh, get your man if that's your boyfriend girlfriend understand i'm not to be toy with hey, hey. Girlfriend, eh, eh. come on, girlfriend, get your man if that's your boyfriend, girlfriend, understand I'm not to be toyed with, girlfriend, get your man if that's your boyfriend, eh, eh. this is the truth right here. 
it's always somebody doing what they not supposed to that'll try to flip and make it seem like it's on you it's always somebody doing what they not supposed to checking up to see if you've been creeping like they own you hey 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 you know it it's always that one that's out there doing some craziness the thing that they not supposed to be doing but they steady blaming you you better watch out for that shit yo hey, hey, hey. next sound uh. we in here we in here rapping for the girlfriends uh. rapping for everybody yeah hey, hey, hey. one time girlfriend Get your man if that's your boyfriend, girlfriend. Understand I'm not to be toyed with, girlfriend. Check your man if that's your boyfriend, girlfriend. Understand I'm not to be toyed with. You need to stop lying. You will never do anything like that. Here she is with her story of love lost and how she used that story to convey the lyrics behind her song Broken. And more specifically, uh, broken mm -hmm. and what it means to perform that song because I've seen you perform it and I know it kind of like takes you to a place you kind of go to a place mm -hmm. I want to ask you about what it means Hold to okay. <laughs> what it means to actually perform and uh, why it holds such an emotional place mm -hmm. in your heart um, broken I was really broken like I was really um, actually before the song was complete I you know, that was when I was going through it with that one person. And um, I couldn't finish the song for some reason. It just wasn't, you know, complete. So I picked up that song, put it down, picked up that song. Broken is like my oldest song. And um, I could not complete it. I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why can't I complete the song? So one, what, you know, I, I went through with that person. Um, I don't, who shall not be named? Uh, <laughs> but you know they really broke me to the point where you know they it was like a mental you know a, a mental abuse you know they love you one minute then they're like oh I want to be with you but I don't want to be with you it was, it was just like crazy and this was like my junior high school love like from junior high school so I was what you know, 14, 15, 15 like you know, like this person has been with me for a very long time. And it's just like, you're really doing this to me. Like, you know, so um, I went through a lot with, with him and it was just that last straw that broke the camel's back. And I had to just like completely cut him off. And when I did, I was... You know, you're not ready, but you're ready. Like, you know, okay, I have to. That's why in, in Broken is um, I love him so much, but he treats me badly. You know, I can't let him go because I've been with this person for a very, very long time. And finally, I completed the song. Like, once I, I had to cut him off, I was in my... Like, you know, slight depression. I don't want to say it was like a heavy depression because I have, you know, my family members who were there for me, um, especially my mom. And um, I completed the song and I felt like it was right. Like, you know, and this is what people need to hear. You know, I don't want to just keep saying women because I know men go through abuse too, you know. So that mental abuse is it's crazy. And that's what Broken is all about. Like getting out of that mental abuse, like really recognizing it. Cause sometimes you don't recognize that you're there. And I, yeah, that's what broken is about. And, and, and performing it is, I love performing it, but I sometimes performing it is hard because like you try not to cry as you're performing it. Cause you remember that, you know, place that you are in and you don't want to go to that place, but you need to go to that place for other people, you know? So, yeah. Well, I commend you on sharing your heart and sharing your words with us. Here she is performing Broken right here live. <laughs> Oh! 
love him so much, but he treats me. I can't let him go, cause I know he needs me. They tell me that I, that I must be crazy to fall in love, to fall in love. But the guy like him, I find another, but I can't, cause I'm still in love, I'm still in love. I'm still in love, but you, you, oh. you broke me, baby. You yeah. took my soul. You broke me. Yeah. 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 Not all love is lost, sometimes it's found. Let's take it to Will to hear Shaq has to tell his story of how romance manifested the lyrics to his song, Wide Open. So wide open. Wide open is also a metaphor. But we can just, you know, let y'all figure that out. Um, but basically about wide open, my greatest inspirations in music is Jill Scott, Tank and the Bangas, and Music Soul Child. And between them, I wanted to create something that could work as easily as a poem as it could work as a song. And when I was able to write these lyrics, certain things happened like when I was in this sort of bond with this person, these words came to me. I was writing poetry all the time. I was so damn inspired. 
Um, and this song came to me because I was like, I, as you see towards my degree situation, there's so many elements I was trying to figure things out. Certain th times when I was like, I think I got it figured out and found out, pull it back, whoop, that's not what it is. And this was another case when I'm like, oh, I'm vulnerable with people. Oh, I'm not trying to posture for nobody. Oh, I, I, when they get me, they get the real enchilada. They get the real, you know, McCoy. And when I started dating this person, I was like, oh, my confidence is not where I thought it was. Um, I'm not always truthful with, my, with myself when I'm doing things. I sometimes will criticize myself before anyone gives me a compliment. And in this relationship, I was like, let's just fix all of that. Let's like uncover all of these different things. And at the end of it, I kind of had to say thank you to the person. It was a, a lot of hurt behind like opening your heart and everything. But first I was opening my heart to myself and then opening it to them, but also opening myself with real love thereafter. So the idea of, um, I couldn't see the forest from the trees. I was a blind, I couldn't see. When you have your idea of what love is with rose tinted glasses, when you actually have clear vision, you can tell the difference between love and not love by then. And having certain experiences kind of exposes that for you and makes you wide open enough to know it for the next time. So that's what that song is about. Here he is performing wide open. Pay attention to the dope lyrics, listen to his storytelling abilities and his amazing voice. Check him out. Many times I ran away from feeling Scared of hurt and pain ha. Too many times I played into infatuation Heart was empty Quite nearly a tin man ha. Nothing real, not too deep, not too wild Just protecting me Walls put up, so closed off, just taking care of me You changed that for me You made me be Wide open for the first time Wide open We 
hope that you have been enjoying all of tonight's performances so far. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future performances. Let's get you dancing a bit. Here she is once again, tearing up the stage, Nequasia with Never Really Mattered. Another song that you performed live at Next Sound Studio was Never Really Mattered, which yeah. is also, also shows another girl who had, I'll say woman, that has reclaimed her womanhood and is just like, no, it's not about you, it's about me. And right. Let's talk about that. How did you come to be that person and, and how, you, how did you arrive at those lyrics? Well, never really matter is who I am now. You know what I'm saying? Like, never really matter. Like, all these guys who be trying to come up to you, like, honey, I'm not ready. You know, I, I want to just have fun. I want to enjoy who I am. Um, I don't, yeah, it never really matter. Like, you know, you, you get into a, like a little fling or whatever, and it just like, it's just like a, you know what, girl, the relationship, that really never mattered. Like, you're just a rebound, you know, so to speak. And you just, you're just still in your stance of who you are. You want to have fun. You could go out on dates because, you know, I want to be like Lori Harvey. <laughs> this is a Laura, Lori Harvey song, okay? I just want to have fun. I'm not going to break down. I'm not going to cry about you. It's okay if you want to see me. I'm gonna. I want you to show me that you want to see me, or you're gonna be around, or you need to show me that you're gonna be a man. I love. I love the playfulness that you have in it. It's fun. It's fun. It's flirty, but it's not ostentatious mm -hmm. or overtly no, sexual. No, it's just self love. You know, self love, and and it's, it's not cockiness of you know. Oh, that man has to do this for me, or no, this is. It never really mattered because I'm already already had a past that I don't want to even deal with or talk about or even get into a new relationship because some people need to understand in order to heal and to be in another relationship, you have to heal from that other relationship. So going into another relationship is not helping you heal. So this is that girl never really mattered too much. Not trying to fall in love. Love. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here she is performing Never Really Mattered live Next Sound Studio, Nequasia.
It's your girl, Nequasia. Mm. Reporting live from Next Sound Studio. Hey, we live, we live. Great job, Nequasia, and great job, everybody, tonight. It was my pleasure hosting tonight's episode. Again, my name is David Sosa. Be sure to check out my debut album, Journey to Love, available on all music streaming platforms. You can also follow me on IG and Twitter at D-A-V-S-O-S and my website, www.officialdavidsosa.com. Closing the show is Sadir with a powerful message that we all can relate to. Stay blessed and we'll see you next time. Uh, you spoke earlier a little bit about your voice as an artist. Mm -hmm. like your uh, your perspective mm -hmm. and I want to talk to you a little bit about why why your perspective is important why you feel like your voice as an artist is important wow um because I feel like everybody has something to say you know what I mean and the way that you may feel about a certain situation we, we can have the same feeling about a situation but I may say something that'll reach a different I guess audience or reach someone differently than you will. You know what I'm saying? It could be the exact same point, exact same feeling, exact same whatever, but for whatever reason, you know, you may reach someone differently than I do and, and vice versa. So, you know, I think that is um, important, especially when you're a musician because at the end of the day, it's music is such a universal language. You know what I mean? It speaks to everybody, but it speaks to everybody differently. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's that's pretty much it for me, man. I'm always going to be looking to say something through my music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's never gonna be just, you know, BS as I consider it to be. You know what I mean? It's always mm -hmm, gonna have some mm -hmm. kind of message behind it, so yeah. Speaking of the message and the content that you put out, mm -hmm. let's talk about freedom. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of serious stuff. It's yeah. a lot of serious issues that you mm -hmm. laid out on that track. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of like, culminates 2020, mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not only 2020, but like years and years of yeah. what's been going on in Absolutely. this country from uh, racial tension mm -hmm. to Karen to mm -hmm. Corona yep. to, to everything. So yep. let's talk about freedom a little bit yep. and the motivation behind that song. Um, well, like you said, man, it was, well, first of all, I mean, we all know all the craziness that really, um, I guess we could say came to a head in 2020. I, I feel funny saying that because it's been going on it's, for so yeah, long. Exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's not like, it, I, I don't know. For some reason, 2020 just kind of put it in our faces more seemingly. I feel funny saying that. But you know. Because it's it always it just, been there. I it, guess it's always, been, always there. been there for us, but more people were right. speaking out on it. And it was we'll just put so, it like that. Right. Other and, people were speaking out on it more. Right. I think us being in the pandemic had something to do with it also. Made it way more visible. You know what I mean? And it's just, um, I saw the, the killings that was going on and the Karen situations going on. Then you got this clown that was in office at the time just making life hell for everybody and, and, and doing these ridiculous things and, and getting away. Just getting away scot-free with the craziness he was doing. If that was anybody else in the White House, you know. It would have been like, get him out of here. You know what I mean? So um, freedom was my way of just... Um, expressing my frustration and just talking to the issues that were going on because I, as an artist at the time, I wasn't hearing a lot of, um, I guess, protest music or a lot of things, you know, talking about the issues that were going on. So I was like, you know what? I may not be at the level of a Kendrick Lamar or a J. Cole or whatever, but, you know, damn it, I'm, I'm going to say something. I'm going to use my voice and put something out there and hopefully it catches on. Hopefully, so. just a simple message that you say in the song. Mm -hmm. Stop killing us. Stop killing us. Learn, learn how, how to, to live, live with us. With us. Right. That's, it's just that simple. Yeah. Here he is performing his song, Freedom, a very big political statement, very big just voice of the movement. Hope you all enjoy this track. Stay tuned. We'll be back. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change and the courage to change the things that I cannot Spiritual, mental, physical Freedom. And you deserve it Better know you're worth it Urgent, life that critical Freedom. Set us free Turn us loose Let us be In our truth uh, Stop killing us Learn how to live with us Everybody wanna just live in their freedom yeah. 
It's like a war zone out there The racial crime is scorching out there My heart and mind is tortured, I swear We know it's unfair, but they don't really care 45 wasn't here with a dumb, dumb idiot Who ain't really give a shit, nah Rather been tweeting when he should have been leading Fucked up the country all for no reason Racist liar, now the world's on fire Under the thumb of Rona gone viral And that orange motherfucker of the people Didn't do for the people what he needed to Couldn't wait to paint fit that right in front of that pad And sit back and laugh ha! How the fuck can you be racist? Black Lives Matter We built this bitch from the basics hey, We got to have that money Can't match that spiritual, mental, physical hey, And you deserve it Better know you're worth it Urgent, life death critical Set us free, turn us loose Let us be in our truth Stop killing us, learn how to live with us Everybody born to just live in we freedom. all saw all the videos It's so hard to watch how it really goes It's even worse when you got the law Trying to blind you, but fuck that I know what I saw, what I saw was someone like me Underneath that knee, screaming I can't breathe What else did I see? A black jogger Not being a bother, murdered by a racist son and father Not to mention that incident at Wendy's Plenty black killings got to end these it's like modern day lynching See a nigga shoot a nigga just for flinching This the real pandemic, COVID And it's not that simple to just get over it And they can play that card cause they hold it And the sad thing about it They know it Let's talk about the bitch Karen Pointing and staring Starting some shit up Then play the victim Quick to call the popo Knowing it can go so wrong in a sec And she'll be protected Crocodile crying Cold don't give a shit Bold face lying Working that privilege It's unfair but it really is what we dealing with, for example, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Sandra Bland, and Trayvon Martin, it's just the name of few, see what's in common, now what if it was you when the cops were starting like, nigga, I got a loaded Glock with me, so don't be getting out of pocket with me, I'm brushing in and ain't no knocking with me, get on the fucking ground right now. Hey, I just want to get home to my son, hands up, don't shoot, I'm not trying to run. I want to live in peace, not be blown to pieces Put down that gun, please I don't fit your description Triple track my shit against who was mentioned hey, I don't see how you don't see that it's not me It's not me, it's not me hey, hey, Spiritual, mental, physical hey, And you deserve it, better know you're worth it Urgent, life death critical Set us free, turn us loose Let us be in our hey, Stop killing us, stop killing us we got to have it, money can't match it Spiritual, mental, physical, hey, and we deserve it Better know you're worth it, urgent, life death critical Set us free, turn us loose, let us be in our truth hey, Stop killing us, learn how to live with us Everybody wanna just live in their freedom If you can't a party, party you came to party. If you came to get down, get down tonight. Get down tonight. We're going live tonight. Live from the next sound studio, studio. Trying to party and celebrate life Tune in the next sound studio tonight It's live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level With different artists who take it to a new level uh, And you never know what you gon' get And you never know what you gon' get You might get rock or you might get rap You might get R&B